help protect Ciri from the Wild Hunt, and the Emperor will grant you amnesty. I hope we can trust you. You can. What of Fringilla? That I don't know, but I shall take it up with him. You barely said hello and you're already plotting something. It's clearly in our nature. I hear I... You can... Provided they help... <sighs> if you can't believe it, don't. Bit about Frangilla. Perhaps because she sits in the Emperor's dungeon, chained in Dimeritium. At least that's what Rita implied. How's Rita now? Barely got out of prison herself. She spoke to Fringilla before they imprisoned her. Fringilla said that the Emperor had summoned her and she'd explained why after the meeting. No one's heard from her since. Thought this kind of drama only happened around Radovid. I don't like it. That was not our deal. When it's all over, I'll need to have a candid discussion with the Emperor. Come, they're all waiting for us. All are present. You were the last to arrive. Might we set sail? Anchors away. Well, that settles the question of His Imperial Majesty's whereabouts. Does he aim to conquer Skellige? But he, he knows. Those are my friends. He wishes to grant you the Isles, with Sintra and the rest of the Empire. Is that so? The Emperor will have to help us fight the hunt. And we've just found Frangilla Vigo. We must hurry and find the Sunstone. Seems we've plenty to do in Skelliger after that. Fringilla Vigo. We need her here. Can you teleport me onto Amir's ship? Not a chance. It's better shielded than the Emperor's alcove. Though we could try to force our way through. We need Fringilla in one piece. Think they know we're here? Amir's mages? Of course. If the matter of Fringilla Vigo were resolved, they'd probably just send her over here in a skiff. It's far from resolved. The Emperor pledged to ensure the Lodge's safety, but... Fringilla's a pricklier matter. She's his subject. One officially sentenced to death for treason. You'll need to learn what Amir has planned for her, once we've found a way to toss you over to the Imperial flagship. I'll get on the Emperor's ship myself. Plan to swim? 
With swords on your back? You'll get shot up like a sitting duck before you can say, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Don't panic. He'll find a way. Make your approach by night. You'll stand a better chance then. And once you're on board, show His Imperial Majesty this letter. Hand it to him directly. We should remind him what he promised, and what he'll get in return. At the moment, we don't even know what the Sunstone is. It was created so the Mountain Elves could summon the vessels of the NL. Now it merely serves as a symbol of a lost opportunity to unite the two tribes. Truly? Can all of you be unfamiliar with the story of Gelban and Dillion of the White Fleet? Talus, please. Absolutely love elven legends. Gelban was a sage of the Elder Elves. He fell in love with an Enshe elf, Dillion. Yet she spurned him. <clears throat> that was a jest on Geralt's part. Too late. It won't hurt any of you to know this. On the day the White Fleet was to set sail, Gelban gave Dillion a gift. The Sunstone. He believed Dillion's heart would soften in time. Once her longing for him burgeoned, she was to use the Sunstone. Though worlds away, he would return for her. Sounds promising. Let's just hope this Sunstone proves more useful to us than it did to that elf woman. What I want to know is if we'll be able to use the Sunstone. You? No. Me? Naturally. With a touch of help from the sorceresses. Of whom some are below deck vomiting, while others remain unreachable. The Sunstones in Skellige? How do we know that? From legends. Elven once. It lies where the White Fleet landed centuries ago. Meaning anywhere on any one of the Isles. Splendid. Ermion. I'll talk to him. Know where he is? I'll ask around the port. Croc's longships are moored there. I'm off. Good luck. Wolf, did you see? The black dogs in their rickety tubs? They bay at our gates, seek to strike fear in our hearts. Saw them all. Where's Ermion? Went to see Lugas. An uncrate on the throne remains a thorn in his ass. <laughs> now he's seen the black ones, it pricks him even harder. The druid's gone to reason with the dim-witted knob. I think I'll join Ermion. Need to talk to him. Go. And when you see that bloody twit Lugas, be sure and tell him... Uh, best not. The druid knows what to say. Farewell.
face you soon, you brat. Smear your ass with honey yet hero. Lady branded for our son shorted bear and a grace. And what else would crack that? Respect, not Richard. I'll not kneel before an oncrite, never. That clear to you? You prefer to eat black ones? I'd sooner write the rights of bleeding more hog than let crack rule all Skelliger. And your men, what do they say? Will they follow you when the Yars call you a traitor? This here is my land, Druid. Watch your words. What would you call it if not treason? That's your bark before you bite. Did Crack send you here for my head? Well then, go ahead! Try to take it! Get him!
You'll never learn. Well, Geralt, I see no row can occur in Skellige without your participation. Mean and inaccurate, Ermion. Seems to me I've missed quite a few. The blood of Crocs' blood sits upon the throne, and that is your doing. I'm afraid you've ignited a small civil war. So, Clan Drummond will attack sooner than we... I'll not kneel be You prefer to aid the... I'd sooner aid the rights of bleeding more, huh? And your men? What do they... This here is my land, druid. Watch your words. Would you be king by Nilfgaard's grace? That your bark before you bite. Did Crack send you here for my head? Well then, get him! What? Lost your nerve?
That's enough.
Well, Geralt, I see no row can occur in Skellige without your participation. Mean and inaccurate, Ermion. Seems to me I've missed quite a few. The blood of Crocs' blood sits upon the throne, and that is your doing. I'm afraid you've ignited a small civil war. So, Clan Drummond will attack sooner than we expected, it seems. Thought Croc sent you to negotiate an agreement with Lugas. Ha! <laughs> an agreement? Only Croc believes such a thing possible at this stage. You mean I didn't actually ruin things for you? Not this time. Lugas' death stands to change a great deal. His cousin, who will now be named Jarl, is a weak commander. Stupid. This war will start soon and even sooner. But why have you returned to Skellige? How's Ceres handling things? As the makings of an excellent queen, if she would only flee her father's shadow. Everyone, Lugas accepted, declared their support for her. Yet the minute the Imperial fleet appeared on the horizon, the Jarl took matters into his own hands. And Yalmar? The lads led three raids against the Imperial fleet, all against Crack's will, or failed. Uh, yet he'll find volunteers for another. Yeah, sounds like Yalmar. Listen, Ermian, know anything about the Sunstone? Legends place it somewhere in Skellige. The Mask of Ulberus first, now the Sunstone. Monsters may rest easy. You'll become a treasure hunter. I've never found the Enshe elves interesting, but there's a skald, Avind, he could help you. Once told me of some inaccessible caverns or ruins or some such. Where will I find him? Today? In Arendjorn, doubtless. You might also ask the pearl divers, Erling and Matthias Fishlung. Of late, they hunt near the tip of the bay, eastern end. Fishlung? Interesting. So they call him. Submerges for hours at a time. None know how he does it, but I've my suspicions. Hmm. Not too fond of him. It's nothing personal. I couldn't stand his father or grandfather either. Thanks for your help. One thing, Geralt. These caves are ruins. Matthias and Erling's ancestors would have looted them bare centuries ago were they not protected by some magic barrier. Take a sorceress with you. You must have brought at least one along. Oh, gaggle this time. Ah, uh, gods protect us.
it's clearing up. Sink the boat! Shoot! Wait, Harley. I'm a... Damn it! Witcher, what a pleasant surprise. Warm welcome. Thank you, your majesty. You should have come with my daughter. Your welcome would have been different. Where is she? In Zeracania, she longed for sunlight. I am known neither for my sense of humor, nor for my patience. You're insolent because you believe I cannot afford to hurt you. And you're right. Yet that will change one day, when you are no longer indispensable, but disposable. But enough of that. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. What do you want? Fringilla Vigo. 
been told you promised Yennefer you'd free her. I can see. I know you're a busy man. So here's a letter. Ought to refresh your memory about the Lodge. Even Yennefer's humblest requests seem like threats. I've always liked that about her. Very well, so be it. Truly prepared to forgive them? Amnesty in exchange for help? I'm prepared to abide by the agreement I made with Yennefer. Didn't answer my question. Nor must I. Time I was on my way. At last, a point we agree on. Guards, bring me Fringilla Vigo. You may remove her dimeritian shackles. No introductions are necessary from what I've heard. Farewell. Fringilla. Been a while. The other sorceresses, they're on Ginvale near Ard Skellig. We could take a boat. I'm sick to death of boats. I despise teleports, but have it your way. Let's go. Look what the cat dragged in. Fringilla Vigo. Philippa, a pleasure as always. Come now, we need none of that. Fringilla, we must speak. Oh my. Geralt. Thanks, Yen. Got a minute? Of course. Once you'd left Yen and me on the Isle of Avalon, what happened to you? What did you do? I traveled through time, space, different worlds. I saw houses of glass, ran with unicorns at the world's end. Hmm. <laughs> Freedom. I still do. So why'd you return? It was too much. I almost drowned in it. When everything is possible, it quickly becomes a lot less alluring. Traveling between worlds, what's it like? It's... nice. Difficult? It was at first, but in time it became automatic, like riding a horse. Bet a lot of mages would love to learn to do it. I'm certain they would. But Avalach claims they've neither the knowledge nor talent. He spent four centuries learning to do it, yet can still only find and pass through pre-existing portals. I go wherever I please, whenever I please. Aridin's located you time and again. How's that work? When I pass between worlds, I create a kind of shockwave. Anyone properly trained can sense it. That's how Avalach explains it, at any rate. He can do it too. So you shouldn't actually ever use your power. It's not like that. The impulse is stronger the longer my voyage. On short hops, the disturbance is practically imperceptible. So, need your advice about Yennefer. Very well. Ask away. The thing is, I'd like to take her somewhere once it's over. Some place picturesque, beautiful even, where we can rest. You've been almost everywhere. Also know Yen well. Any ideas? I was thinking Spala, or maybe Doblathana. The first roadside inn you pass, take her there. Pay for a month in advance, carve do not disturb into the room door, and shut it behind you. <laughs> Just like that? Just like that. I should go. All right. We'll talk later. Geralt. Thanks, Yen. See you later. Well, what is it? No need to thank me, Philippa. Always glad to save your ass. You're welcome. You stood to gain. That is why you saved me. Way back when, did you really send assassins after Dijkstra? You believe I... 
do not remember we were once lovers. Maybe it's just me, but I think you'd consider that in itself to be reason enough. Actually, I've long wondered why you parted, quarreled even. <sighs> you see, Geralt, there are those who keep politics separate from their private lives, and those who do not. Which one was Dijkstra? The more boring of the two. Farewell. Yes, Geralt? So long, Triss. Yes, Geralt? Margarita any better? I managed to accelerate tissue regeneration. She's feeling much better. In fact, we must bring Eridin here as soon as possible. Otherwise, I'm afraid these sorceresses of yours will start fighting amongst themselves. Charming world you and El have got. Could easily fall in love with the place. Tell me, how do you do it? Sit around playing flute, painting rutting unicorns in gorgeous landscapes, building ornately sculpted towers? And then you murder us, without batting an eye, without a hint of guilt. How? Do you humans feel guilt when you murder Enshe elves? Or dwarves? Or dryads? We are the same. Simply because we both firmly believe others are inferior. From the look of things, pretty soon Siri won't need your help anymore. Nor yours. True. She'll do whatever she wants, and I'll support her. What about you? Ready to let her live her own life? I shan't force her to do anything, if that's your question. You imprisoned Siri the first time you met her. Now you protect her while fighting against your own kind. Quite an about face. First of all, I did not imprison her. She found me. It was her destiny. Yeah, sure. Get to the second of all. Why are you helping her? Because she's a danger. A mortal one. You look at her and see a human, a ward, a daughter even. I look and see the Elder Blood. A power that can destroy the world. A power that must be kept from Eridin's power-addled hands at all costs. Admittedly, our motives differ. Yet in spite of that, we share a goal. So, you would be wise to trust me. Or at least try. Tell me something more about Caranthir. Know him well? Know him? I reared him. Raised, don't you mean? No, Geralt. I began shaping him long before he was born. For centuries, I... brought together pairs of elves manifesting certain abilities, those able to manipulate time and space. He is the result of these efforts. Caranthia, a golden child. Golden child who grew up to be a criminal. So long. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop flexing like that, you're making me nervous. Oh, you'd make a fine sailor. Till the puke in the city. Yes, Geralt? You look good. For a captive of Emir, is that what you mean? Seems like he's shown you surprising leniency. No interrogations, no torture. Or did you just tell him everything he wanted to know? If I'd told him everything, he'd hardly still need me alive, wouldn't you say? Anyway, we shan't speak of it. I and what concerns me have not been a concern of yours for some time now. Huh? Cantarella. Who is she, really? She mentioned you knew each other. You ran into her. Her real name is Carthia van Canton, Asira's former collaborator. She's very... talented. Spied for you? Not just for us, probably. I doubt she wishes any harm upon me or other sorceresses, but one must be very careful what one says in her presence. Seemed like you told her quite a lot about me. You ought to feel flattered, then. That makes you famous on both banks of the Yoruga. So long.
quite at the temples, but wields a mighty sword. We've been the woods cursed. We've just barely made port of the Zavard. Zavard, join the raid, my lord. You've cleathered a fair job. What'd you have done for me, man? Respect, Witcher.
Look, Erling, told you we wasn't done for the day. Didn't even have to fish this one out. You daft. Can't you see he's a witcher? What's a witcher doing here? Run out of pearls. Not your concern. What the sea gives, we take. Seems she's a reluctant giver. Hey, I could use a better knife. But a few hours and their fingers are swollen. Plan to return the bodies to their families at least? I mean, once you're done. They speak true. Mutants got nothing resembling refined sentiments. Look at them. You think their ever-loving mums and wifeys want to see them in this state? The sea will bury them. And that's that. Listen, heard you know a thing or two about elven ruins in Skellige. Who says? Hermion. Hmm. You'll not tell him what you saw today, will you? Depends. Elven ruins, you say? What you want to know? Druid mentioned some cavern you've never been able to enter. Where is it? East of Kertrold. In a cove you can only reach from the sea. But what you exactly... What was that? You hear that early? Hiding in a dungeon, pale face. Aye.
Thanks a lot. I'd rather verify it now. Otherwise, I'll continue to wonder if he's not about to stab me in the back. You've something of a persecution complex. You needn't come with us. I hadn't intended it. Going somewhere? Siri says there's a site in Skellige we must examine. Avalach's clearly hiding something from us. Earlier, when we were in the Isles together, Avalach mentioned a laboratory. At one point, he wished to teleport there, to retrieve something. And he refused to take me with him. It was all very strange. Sufficiently suspicious, don't you think? So what? Want to just sneak in and root around? Exactly. Coming with? Fine. Where is it? On a small isle between Undvik and Spikarog. Not exactly on our way. Just found out the Sunstone's on Ard Skellig, cavern along the coast that we can only access from the sea. 